All right, Dina Cimarelli from the Bakery Boutique joins us in the kitchen this morning. I know St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, but so is St. Joseph's Day. It is. There's two saints back to back. Yes. So we've and got a busy few days at the bakery coming up. Staples are always on the menu. For St. Joseph's Day, it's a staple. Okay. You need them. And you need both. You need the baked and the fried. And cupcakes. And you need cupcakes. Well, if you're going to go to the bakery, you definitely need the cupcakes <laughs> Absolutely. There. I'm so a fan of the fried. Okay, so what do we need to, to make these cupcakes So today. what we're going to do today is these are the ingredients. We're just going to make a basic vanilla cupcake. So okay. simple ingredients. you got all-purpose like flour, unsalted butter, whole eggs, we have a bourbon vanilla extract, granulated sugar, and whole milk. You said bourbon vanilla? Yeah. How does that differ from just regular vanilla it, extract? It actually has, a, it, the vanilla is so much more stronger mm -hmm. with the bourbon in it. Just a little bit of the alcohol, it just brings it right out. Because to make a true vanilla act, extract, they actually use rum with vanilla bean. This oh. incorporates, they put a little bit of bourbon into it, and it just really kicks up the vanilla a notch. It's awesome. Good. I like that. And yes. how about for the, the, the filling or the frosting? What, what would you call this? We, it's filling? A, a Vienna, it's a filling. A filling, But okay. it's a cream. We do a Vienna cream. Yum. Which is like a thick, yellowy, custard cream. Um, you know, egg yolks, your sugar, mm -hmm. your milk. It's all stuff that's low fat, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then what we just do is, we're going to show you later on, we just take the vanilla cupcake and we kind of use it as if it is the Zapola shell. So okay. that's where we turn it so to, but we fill, fill it, it with the cream, we top it with Yum. the cream, we got maraschino cherries, some powdered sugar. I like it. An All Italian right. Italian flag, and we're good to go. I'm hungry. We got zapolas in the kitchen. We're going to start making them in just a bit. For now, back to you. Thanks, Mary. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Dina Cimarelli, Bakery Boutique. We're making Zapola cupcakes. We are. This lady's got a spatula in her hand. I'm she, ready means, to go. she means business. This is business <laughs> she today. She means business. She's not fooling around. So, we're going to start off with making the actual vanilla cupcakes. So, we started with one cup of unsalted butter. Okay. And it needs to be really softened because if not. It's going to help the uh, mixer get it, get yeah, it blended, right? Yeah, it's going to get all chunky and it's not going to be good it's not at all. Be good. And every time you start off baking, like baking 101, you always cream the butter and the sugar first. Okay. Okay. And when you put these two together, the sugar's not as grainy. So what does that smooth it? it? It'll smooth it out? Yeah, it kind of turns it into like a paste, if you will. Right. So everything right now is going to get incorporated. You should probably mix this for about, I don't know, two to three minutes. Because see how it's still a little crumbly? Right, it's still a little crumbly. You kind of want it all to pull together. Okay, almost like a paste. Exactly. So, yeah. You're doing good? You you're painting, you? you're taking, I'm going to ask you later. You I'm, know that, no, right? Not at all. I'm going to quiz you. <laughs> So, anytime you add anything else, we want to lower it so there's no... It doesn't splatter back yeah. up on you. Glad you pointed that out, because I would have dropped it in, not slow it down. That could have been funny, though, <laughs> especially if it was flour. Yeah, all over me. Next, we have, like, so four eggs? So now, four eggs, and any time you add eggs into the mixture, you do want to do them one at a time. All right. Because you do, they always tell you to fully incorporate the eggs. I know I did, too, but in terms of timing... <laughs> but if you're doing this at home... Yeah, if you're doing one this at egg. home, one egg at a time. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so I'm going to put two more in just to keep it, you know, part, continuity. <laughs> so but that's going to blend for a little those while? Those are going to blend. And then what I did was you need a cup of whole milk and then you have a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay. I like to mix them together and just let to get the flavor for a little bit. So I like the whole zero. vanilla milk thing. Right. And then this is pretty much what you want it to look like. It's going to be nice and soft. Yep. And then the last part of it is just our all-purpose flour. And then I alternate. I put in a half of the flour with some of the wet milk. And just then I to make do the sure rest that it gets it. blended yep, right. Yep. Because right. sometimes if you put in too much at the same at once, there is this clumps at the bottom. So and it I doesn't mix right. And it doesn't mix right. And it doesn't right. mix right. And we don't want that. No, to we don't want that. We want this we perfect. Want, we want our cupcakes to come I, I out just right. Because I want them to look just like you made them yeah. this morning <laughs> for us. <laughs> they will. I promise. All right. Okay, so we are mixing our ingredients. We got the blender going. It's going. We're gonna make our cupcakes. Mixer. And mixer. Uh, well, We're okay. mixing. You know, <laughs> um, I'm done. This is why I don't cook. <laughs> we'll be back in just a bit. In the meantime, back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. <laughs> Dina Dennis and Harley is here from the Bakery Boutique making Zapola cupcakes. We are. Nice, we are. nice cupcakes. Thanks. <laughs> I've been told that before. Nice. And we also have hey, a special hey, guest. Hey, hey. Spe a special guest this morning. The chef from the Muppets is joining us. Pushka, 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 pushka. Hello. All right, what do we got going on? So we're going to start with decorating the Zapola cupcake. Now, again, this is just at the bakery. We do a spin of a traditional Zapola, mm -hmm. but we, mm -hmm. we compensate instead of having a Zapola shell, we use a vanilla cupcake. So, why not? the way we do it is we just core out the center. What are you using? 
special This is just Quora. an apple Quora. Oh, it's, it's an just, apple yeah, Quora. It's okay. something you can get in any local grocery store. So maybe you even already have it at home. You could. And you just want to make sure when you do something like this, you don't want to press down all the way because then if you take out the bottom, cake at the butt. It's, it's going to come right out. You're going to, it's, you know, it's a technique. You get used to it right. and you kind of know when to stop. We'll right. see about that. Do you, do you think you could handle <laughs> well, this? I'm going to give it a shot. You have, you have zero well, faith you're, in you're me doing lefty? this. Oh, God. All right. uh, oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry that I'm a lefty. I know, but I won't let you frost, though, because <laughs> lefties frost in the opposite direction. And that's right. Oh. How's that? Is that right, okay? That's good. And then, Not great, but good. What we, <laughs> what we normally do is just like the zapel is filled in the middle, mm -hmm. we fill the the center with the pastry cream and we use an Italian Vienna cream at the bakery which is really yummy. just your standard custard it's lots of egg yolks and mm -hmm. yummy a lot of good stuff. cream and milk yeah. and sugar and I do we just fill the center right just mm -hmm. a little bit and then Super we also enough. too just put a little bit on top I mean this we can decorate yeah, it. Is, there, can is there a knack for frosting a, cu a cupcake the right way? Oh, see, oh, you've done two yeah, you can styles. do two. You can do whatever you want. Whatever that knack is, I I've been told think, I don't have it. I think you frosted cupcakes before, actually, in our bakery. Uh, so I did. Oh, that's you right. You had a contest oh, with no. you know, the NGB himself. Go ahead there, Whitey. Oh. So there you go. <laughs> Here we go. And then, well, see? Say hi. Is there a technique to this? Mm -hmm. All right, now I want you Stay to fill one, and I want you to do it as a lefty. All right. How's Here that we go, lefty. Okay, looking right. good so far? Yeah. Okay. Now you can do a swirl. Oh! Not bad. Oh, hey. Come hey. on. Hey. Come on. I think you need you one of these. I do need <laughs> it. So then, same way when we top off the zapola, mm -hmm. we put a cherry on top. We Ooh. put in a little Italian flag because it's because San Gennaro, St. Joseph's Day. And then we just yes. dust it because powdered sugar oh. makes everything look better. It does. Look at that cupcake. Yum, right? That's perfect. And that is perfect. We also have at the bakery baked and fried zapolas. All right. Yum. So one is good for bikini season and one not so much, <laughs> I guess, if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> you know what? Well, I don't think any time should be bikini <laughs> it's season no, for no, you. It's not, it's not you should. Season. You should do it. But if you're going to do this, you know, it's once a year. Just go, do for, it right, go for it, right? You know, go That's for how it. I feel. Go for the gusto. Yeah. Take one of each. We just cut them in half, and again, you're just going to fill it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you oh, put I, some cream okay. in there? So, yeah, go I'll around, just follow the shell. Like that. Perfect. Nice and steady. Nice See? technique. Great technique. If I had a card, I'd be holding up a 10. <laughs> See? Great. So now we just top it. Mm -hmm. Now do it again. Put some more on top. More on the top? Yeah. Okay. Mine is not going down. Because if you're going to do it, you're just going <laughs> to keep doing it. I thought you were it. the professional. <laughs> Professional what? <laughs> <laughs> and then again, wherever the, the disconnect is, wherever you end off frosting, I kind of just put the cherry right there. That's the spot. That's the spot. Yeah, and again, same thing. My little flag. So we what go. we're saying is if this little TV thing doesn't work out for me, maybe I can come over You can to definitely <laughs> come to the bakery. At least once a year to decorate. <laughs> once a year would be just enough. Yeah. All right. Do I put it on this That's side too? The or no, so now you do the same thing. You close it. Okay. And then put it on top like that. And that's just a round tip. It's a little bit different where that was a star tip. I was going to say mine was looking a little better. Yes. <laughs> We're going to put Open this. wide, Will. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to dust, I want to dust them with sugar. Go ahead. <laughs> We're having fun in the kitchen. And dust it. The health board's going to be all And you have all of these on, do you have these all weekend? Are you we have them? them? Yeah, no, actually, starting today, we're going to have the Zapolas and the Zapola cupcakes every day. But then <laughs> also, we brought some cupcakes because we have St. Patrick's Day oh, before yeah. St. Joseph's Day. Right. So in the shop, Stock you'll get up. green velvet. You'll get our Guinness Stout cupcake and our Bailey's Irish Cream cupcake, as well as the Zapola cupcake, too. Wow. We normally are closed on Monday, but because Monday St. Joseph's Day, we are going to be open. Oh, okay. Nice. Because, you know, we've got to make it Are you happen. doing pre-orders before or just come in and get them? I mean, what we should We always suggest pre-orders. Anytime okay. you're ordering anything that's larger than a do like two dozen, mm -hmm. two dozen Zapolas, two dozen cupcakes, we do suggest that you call in your orders. And, and they we go make fast, sure you get it. And they too. go fast. Right. Yeah. So we have a lot of people that call up, you know, can we have six, seven dozen? Where they pick them up, they bring them to the office. Right, they right. Them out on St. Joseph's sure. Day, but now people are getting used to our St. Patty's Day cupcakes, and they're kind of doing the same. So yeah. I know there's two holidays back to back. It's a lot of sweets, but again, it's I don't hate it. No, yeah. it's not uh, a bad thing. Would it be okay if I had one of the uh, Guinness cupcakes? It w I I think you should. I know you said that was your favorite, so I know, I'm standing and here. And I'm, you, you know what? You have to. Yeah, I got to give it a You're shot. You're gonna have right. to. You give that a whirl. I'll give this a whirl. Don't forget, you can find all of our recipes online at so wpri.com, and make sure you mm -hmm. stock Isn't up. So good. A lot of holidays coming up. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day and happy St. Joseph's Day. You too. Do you love it? I do. My do. <laughs>